There you go. All right, 2022 to 2023, New Year's ski trip starting off at Ness Auto Sales and Service. Interesting turn of events on the way home on Christmas. Had to do some servicing on the vehicle. Putting the queen mattress in the car and the skis. Some more skis. Newly renovated Subaru Outback. My mother was our shuttle. Have fun. Love you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Picking up Spencer at the family Christmas. This is Alora. Uh, Stealing some food from their family. Loading up the car, going to Richmond, meet Gavin and Hudson, get to MSP. Joe's flying out of Milwaukee to Detroit, and we'll meet in Denver tonight. Hold my bag up for a second. You sure? Yeah. As long as you can fit that All one right. somewhere. Alright, I'll just hold it on my. Put it in the back. Ah. There's like space back here. What time is it? All right, it is 3 p.m. 3 p.m. and we're just leaving to go to Montana. Hello, neighbor. Ethan's got his new yeah. down pants on. These bad boys are Those pretty sweet, so like a mummy. All right. Minor change of plans. Every flight from Southwest has been canceled for the last day going up till New Year's Eve. Some flights direct to Boise we looked at for $1,800. So we looked at a train. Train canceled. And uh, we're now driving the 2014 Subaru Outback cross country for the second time this year. This is it 2014? Yeah. It's got a blue book rating of 4.4 stars. Anyways, uh, another plot twist. Our friend Cameron Candy was flying out with us and her flight also got canceled. We're gonna pick her up in Hudson right now. She'll ride out to Montana with us and then get picked up by someone and then brought back down to Denver. So rather than a two and a half hour flight, she'll be in a car for 24 hours. Um, Joe Merck still, he's in Detroit right now. He's tried canceling our camper reservation in an attempt to Airbnb it with our cars, but the owner of uh, Cuckoo Campers out of Denver lives in Iceland. I don't think so. I pretended that we're in a travel crisis. Well, we are. <laughs> She's got to talk to the owner who lives in Iceland and currently sleeping. So, meet you at Lost Trail then. Oh, meet Willow Lost River Trail. Saloon. We'll meet you at Lost Trail tomorrow night around 9 p.m.
Got the old dragon slayer. John Mercatoris would appreciate that. <laughs> We're gonna head our way to Lost Trail Powder Mountain right now. Maybe stop it through thrift stores on the way, a bar or two. And uh, should be a good trip. Made it, Lost Trail uh, Powder Mountain. We'll be uh, ripping this today. They're gonna head up the lookout, see Casey tonight, tear up Missoula. We got 25 pounds of quasi frozen meat in my car that we've had in the car for 48 hours. That we're gonna give to him that we shipped for free from the Midwest. It's Missoula. Team's doing a little bit of yoga. We got frozen pizzas ready for dinner. Skied Lost Trail today was great. We're gonna be heading up to Lookout tomorrow. And then we're gonna head to uh, Silver the day after. <laughs> Well, made to look out past today. 
Casey and I had, our time to, had ourselves a time at the Missoula Bars last night. Wait, did you actually have a date? What's that? How you been? Good. Met some locals. And uh, here we are, lookout, looking out. We're on the border of Montana, Idaho, again. Skiing, good conditions. Third time, fourth time this year. Fourth time this year we're on this border, different spot. Skiing, some good conditions. Some good tree skiing. But uh, couldn't be better. New mountain, we got new facial hair today. Uh, we're running it up at Silver today, Silver Mountain in Kellogg, Idaho. There's a water park also included, but we're not gonna, we're not going to a water park, we're here to ski. Uh, it's been pretty good, we found some local guide, gentlemen from the local area showing us how it's done. Went to Madison? Went Madison? to Madison, fellow, I'm not a badger. We're gonna ski Silver today, and then uh, we got our Airbnb in Wallace. Probably tear it up in the town of Wallace tonight. Stay out of the Sheriff's Department, and then uh, back to Montana tomorrow.
altitude. <laughs> We're on the road today. It's snowing heavily. We're going to Lost Trail. It's New Year's Eve. Um, we're stopped at the Trout Aquarium because Joe wanted to go there. We're gonna see what that's about. Three sixty-three fishes. Don't have Tori, not me. Ooh. <laughs> All right, in the car. Let's go. <laughs> Well, Casey and I are out for a quail hunt. Had an opportunity to ski a half day or go for a Montana quail hunt and uh, chose the quail hunt. He's our local guide for the region. He saw about 100 quail here last time he hunted and shot 13 of them. We're still looking for the other 87 at this moment without much luck at the time. I'll keep you posted. Boys are skiing Lost Trail right now and the girls are grocery shopping. Making a couple new friends out here on the prairie. Well, quail hunting wasn't quite as success as we thought. We anticipated getting probably 10 or 12 birds. I missed two. We uh, flushed a duck that we couldn't shoot and a rabbit we couldn't shoot. So we got some burgers we're gonna grill tonight and we're on our way to the Airbnb in uh, Gibbonsville, Idaho to meet the crew. Alright, last day of the trip, back at Lost Trail. We're gonna run these lifts the rest of the day. Sharks fin Hollywood Bowl. Run back to the Airbnb, pack her up and be on the road tomorrow back to Wisconsin. Winner gets first line on this jump. Show got, me what you got. got Alright, winner, winner hits it first. Yeah. Ready? On shoot. Right, ready? Rock, Rock, paper, scissors, scissors, shoot. And it's between us? It's a Mexican standoff. Everybody's played everything. <laughs> Everybody's beat by everyone. Alright, I say that the scissors get to challenge each other. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh man. <laughs> Alright, Ethan.
Well, the ladies are gone. Joe and I are chefing up in the kitchen. We're making a couple bacon cheeseburger pizzas. We got bacon cheeseburger. We got last night's cheeseburger yep. diced up, and Joe's slicing some bacon up. Then we're gonna put on the pizzas. Yep. Throw in the oven. Yep. Gonna be good. Well, boys, we're down to one more bag of cheese sticks. Well, we broke the oven. Uh, update on bacon. <clears throat> update on the cooking. The uh, oven's full of burning bacon grease and the house is full of smoke. Let me breathe most of the grease. <laughs> We're up back to the, the stove, this grill out here. We moved to outdoor cooking. And it's going all right. Let's see what happens. It's aesthetic, as they say.